Do you want to know the secret to success in business and in life? Well, I'm about to tell you where you can learn it because it ain't for me. Good afternoon all, I am John Delancey here at Marketing the Magic and today we're going to talk about a critical, critical skill that anyone in business or who is alive today should have and that is time management. Now, before we really dive into it, I am no master of time management. It is something I am working very hard on at the moment, and I'm going to point you to a resource that I'm using to help me learn how to do it better. Uh, it is an amazing, amazing book and resource uh, by an amazing guy, and we'll talk about that. Uh, but before we really get into it, uh, again, I'm John Delancey, and this is Marketing to Magic. So normally, we would be talking about marketing lessons inspired by the Disney theme parks, the movies, the marketing campaigns that they run, and, and all kinds of things like that. Uh, but I am taking part in what's called the SSS VEDA Challenge this month. Uh, so if you're just catching me for the first time, uh, this is a challenge to vlog every single day in the month of April. Uh, it's put on by Amy Schmidauer over at Savvy Sexy Social, who focuses... Um, in her work on teaching people to do more with video online. Uh, and since I'm just getting this project off the ground, I want to, I wanted to take part in this challenge, uh, to get me more comfortable on camera and, uh, get a good base, uh, of viewers and solid content out there. So we're talking about a lot of different things this month, uh, not necessarily just marketing. Uh, but, since I'm focusing this community on small business owners and other marketing professionals, and in particular, uh, as a as a third kind of subset, uh, people who want to start marketing agencies, which is something I've done, uh, time management is a critical skill that we need to talk about. Because otherwise, we get overwhelmed. And we've talked about that in a few episodes this month so far. Um, so... That's what I want to focus on for today, and the other reason we're talking about this today is because the prompt from Ms. Schmidt Hour over at Savvy Sexy Social for today's uh, VEDA Challenge talk was a good book that you can recommend. Um, so, it just, you know, serendipity, uh, it happens that I, I'm finishing up reading uh, this wonderful book on time management, uh, which we'll get into in just a second. Um... So, it's, it's a great time to talk about it. Now, that book that I'm talking about is called Time Management Magic. So if you check the description uh, on Facebook here, or if you're watching on YouTube, uh, or on Facebook after the fact via replay, uh, the, the links will be in the descriptions or the comments or somewhere, so you'll, you'll be able to get to these books. Those are not affiliate links, by the way. I'm not making anything for them. I'm not sponsored by this book or the author. Uh, it's just a great book by a great guy. And that guy, by the way, is Lee Cockrell, who used to be, before he retired, if I remember correctly, the executive vice president of Walt Disney World. So, fairly high in the Disney chain of command and responsible for thousands of employees and lots of things going on. Uh, and he had a long career even before Disney, uh, working for Hilton and Marriott, uh, managing those, those hotels uh, and whole, whole areas of those hotels. Um, so, again, very busy guy, and he learned early on that time management was going to be the key to his success. Uh, and it so often is the thing that we lack when we are stepping into business or um, even just existing today, right? I mean, we are all slammed day in and day out by all of the things that we need to get done and the things we want to do and the sleep that we're not getting and, and all of these things. So... Uh, it's it's a pretty important thing to focus on. <sighs> the key, and, and what, what I love about this book, this book, Time Management Magic, so much, is that he breaks this subject down into some very distinct, very simple, very practical things that we can do. Uh, he gives us a system, in short. And that's usually what all we need, is a system for managing our time. Uh, now, the system that he gives us uh, is actually based on using an old-fashioned day timer. Uh, yep, those old little notebooks that people carry around and write down things in. So yeah, writing and reading and not using your smartphone necessarily, but that's actually a fairly, that's actually a, a misnomer. He does actually encourage the use of 
your smartphone and calendar systems and Outlook and Gmail and all those things uh, in addition to using the Daytimer. But for him and for his system, the Daytimer is the Bible. That is the place where you keep up with everything you have to do. And he gives us a very simple system for how to use that day timer to map out the things we need to get done on any given day, the priorities that we need to assign to those things, uh, and how to keep track of what we're getting done and what we're not, how to plan for future events and future obligations, and how to make sure that we're covering everything that should be a priority in our lives, not just our work, but spending time with our families and taking time for our hobbies, but not letting those things or anything, any one thing, take over our schedules and make us feel like we don't have time to get the things done that we need to, because that's not true. I mean, just about every one of us has plenty of time to get done all of the things that we have obligated ourselves to or chosen to do. It's just a matter of managing that time. So, definitely, 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 if you feel like time management is an area where you could use improvement, and again, this is something I'm working on very hard as we speak because I run this project, I run a franchise of a continuing education company, I run marketing for two or three other clients that I'm working with at the moment, and I'm still looking for ways to grow and expand my business to help me reach the goals that I've set for myself, but I'm already overwhelmed. And so that's why I'm focusing on time management because I do have time to do those things that I need to do. I just have to manage my time more effectively using a system. And that system that I'm using is, again, Time Management Magic by Lee Cockerell. And again, I've linked to the book in the description um, of the Facebook video here. It'll also be linked in the description of the YouTube video for the replay. Um, I've also linked to Lee Cockerell's homepage where you can catch you know, all of his books. He has a huge number of books uh, and, and a huge amount of content out there for uh, anyone in business, uh, much of it focused on customer service, which is another form of marketing as far as I'm concerned, um, or at least it should be. Uh, so I've linked to his homepage, and he also offers a podcast, a weekly, it's a 15-minute podcast. It's hardly going to take any of your time at all, but there are some ex there is some extremely valuable information that he gives in every single one of his episodes. So be sure you catch his podcast as well. Um if you are really interested in in really getting your time under control and in a very quick and controlled way, uh, Lee and uh, his partner uh, for the podcast and in this this in his business uh, have just created a time management course that you can take. Uh, I'm considering taking it myself, actually. Uh, so definitely check that out. It'll also be linked from the Lee Cockrell's homepage. And that's going to wrap things up for today. I don't want to take up too much of your time. It's a holiday after all. So try to take a break if you can. I'm going to do the same here as soon as I wrap up uh, this, this broadcast. Uh, take a break and then get back to work tomorrow uh, with a clear head and after spending some quality time with your family or friends or just napping, reading a good book, whatever it might be. Guys, have a great day. Go out and make the life that you want to live, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks.